We're standing here outside the Ritz Clinic uh, in Rodiport, uh, where the city of Johannesburg Mayor Jeff Makubo uh, came to do a, a site inspection visit here at this particular clinic to look at the facilities and how they can capacitate uh, this particular clinic in uh, conducting the screening and testing of the COVID-19 virus. And he joins me now. Thank you so much, uh, Mayor, for joining me. Before we talk about the site inspection visit here at the Rex Clinic, yes. let's talk about uh, the information that we just received about a nurse who's tested positive at the Alex Clinic and the clinic has been shut down as a result. Do you have information on this? No, no, we don't have any information about the nurse who tested positive in Alex. And there is no clinic that's closed as far as we know. Uh, two things are happening. Uh, one is that there uh, is a water problem at the Alex HC today. Uh, everything will be back to normal tomorrow. But in any case, they are scaling down uh, non-COVID-related non activities in that clinic because they want to increase the rate of testing and uh, massify uh, testing sites, uh, the testing in Alex Clinic. So all other things have been diverted to other clinics. And this is such an important thing, the issue of testing. This is one of the reasons why you're here at this particular Rex Clinic, to look at how the operations of testing and screening have gone about. Earlier, you did a walkabout at this particular clinic. What were your thoughts about some of capacitating this particular clinic? Well, well, I mean, we, we're quite happy with what we see uh, in that uh, our whole clinic, our clinics, and especially this one, Rex Clinic, has changed uh, to focus on the, this pandemic, which is uh, COVID-19. Um, the facilities are geared up, uh, people are ready. You get screened as you walk in, and then you get isolated and separated in a manner that uh, if you want uh, tablets, you go to the tablets, chronic medication, but then the focus is on the COVID-19. So I'm very happy with what I saw today. And the issue of testing really is a big issue. While we do have mobile testing sites and healthcare officials going out in the communities, there's still the issue around people finding testing easy and being able to go to their nearest uh, facilities. There's still a lot of confusion around that. What message do you have to people and how can we make it easier for people to either go to the healthcare facility or find the nearest mobile testing site to be able to go and get tested? Well, for now, the city's got uh, 14 testing sites. We've publicized them. Uh, in addition to the six provincial testing sites that are in Johannesburg. But there's a plan, the MMC of Health was telling me now, the plan is to make every single clinic of the city, 79 sites in the city, testing sites, so that everyone can have an opportunity to, to test. And we encourage everyone to go to the clinic to test. Of course, where areas there are no clinics, there are 14 mobile clinics or so that we have in the city. Uh, together with province that will be going around to those areas uh, to go and test people. So we're encouraging everyone, especially when you're symptomatic, when you've got a sore throat or headaches or struggling to breathe, that you go and test. I suppose the big concern is for people who are not necessarily symptomatic, mm -hmm. but feel that they have uh, been in contact with somebody who has been exposed to the virus and them going to the healthcare facility and then being turned away because they aim symptomatic. Remember, um, uh, we call it the three T's. One is testing, tracing, and of course treatment. So, so once somebody has been tested positive, we trace the ones that is come to, he or she has come into contact with. So those who've been in contact with uh, people who tested positive, they go into quarantine for a couple of days to see whether they, they show symptoms or not. And of course, they will be tested to know whether they are positive or negative. But those who are asymptomatic and want to get tested and are worried about uh, uh, the virus but are showing no signs, what options are available to them? Well, for now, we're saying uh, please bear with us. Um, in, in, in a short space of time now, testing will be available to everyone. We'll get the signal from national, we'll get a signal from the province that now anyone who wants to present themselves to test, they can do so. For now, remember there was a limitation of test kits. Test kits are being made available, CSIR and Tenel and other companies are now starting to produce uh, locally. So, so we, we, we are uh, encouraging people who are showing symptoms to test, but those who are not symptomatic, please be with us for now but the time will come for you to test. All right. And I suppose this really talks to the issue of compliance and it leads into that issue of compliance. We're seeing in a lot of places that are densely populated, such as townships and uh, informal settlements, a, a lack of compliance with regards to people maintaining social distancing. What message do you have with regards to the people themselves and also the authorities that are in place to try and keep uh, people compliant? Look, we we're sending a message, we're appealing to every single person now that please, 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 please stay at home. 
comply with the regulations. They are in your interest. It's not, you're not doing government a favor. You don't want to see body bags. We don't want to see people dying. We don't. We want to control the incidences of uh, the spread of coronavirus. We don't want to, people to be infected with COVID-19. So please, please, we are doing this for you, not for the state. So I'm encouraging people to stay at home. I'm encouraging people to heed the call by the president to, to, to self-isolate and stay at home. All right, thank you so much. The mayor of the city of Johannesburg, uh, Mr. Jeff Makubo, just giving us his thoughts around uh, the issue of testing and how they're going to capacitate clinics such as this particular Rex clinic with, with uh, testing kits, face masks and gloves to ensure that healthcare workers are safe when they are conducting the tests and also to ensure that people themselves are safe and are sanitized when they do come to such clinics.